All these things behind me are not mountains. They're the edge of the rim of the canyon. We're 800 feet below the level of the ground. Think Texas is all about cowboys and oil rigs? Think again. Beneath the surface lies a story far older and more fascinating than many of us realize. Texas, wow, so we yeah. get our very name from these guys. That's we do. That's amazing. Yep. Join us as we dig into the untold history of Texas, revealing secrets buried for millennia. The first Texans, Clovis points and pre-Clovis discoveries. In the vast expanse of modern-day Texas, hidden beneath its rolling plains and rugged landscapes, lies evidence of America's earliest inhabitants. These first Texans left behind a legacy carved in stone, literally, through Clovis points and pre-Clovis artifacts that challenge our understanding of human history in North America. The story begins with the Clovis points, distinctively shaped spearheads that have become synonymous with the Clovis culture, named after the town of Clovis, New Mexico, where such artifacts were first discovered in the 1930s. However, Texas boasts its share of these archaeological treasures, with numerous Clovis points unearthed throughout the state, suggesting a widespread presence of these ancient peoples around 13,500 years ago. Clovis points are more than mere stone tools. They are masterpieces of prehistoric engineering, designed with a fluted base that allowed them to be securely attached to spear shafts. This innovation not only marked a significant advancement in hunting technology, but also provides us with insights into the ingenuity and adaptability of early human settlers in the Texas landscape. While Clovis points have long dominated discussions about early American inhabitants, recent discoveries in Texas are pushing back the timeline even further. Sites like the Galt site in central Texas have yielded evidence of human occupation dating back over 13,000 years, featuring a wide array of artifacts that predate the Clovis culture. These findings have ignited a scientific debate about the arrival of the first Americans, suggesting that Texas was a hub of human activity long before previously thought. Galt Site, a window into ancient life. Nestled in the heart of central Texas, the Galt Site offers a fascinating glimpse into the lives of ancient Texans. This archaeological treasure trove, dating back over 13,000 years, serves as a window into a time long before the written word, providing unprecedented insights into the pre-Clovis peoples who once roamed this land. The Galt site's significance was first realized through the discovery of stone tools and artifacts that predated the well-known Clovis points. As archaeologists dug deeper, they uncovered a wealth of evidence, including over two million artifacts that tell the story of human occupation, innovation, and adaptation over millennia. This vast collection includes projectile points, blades, and other stone tools, along with ornamental objects such as beads and pendants made from bone, shell, and stone. The artifacts found at the Galt site offer clues to the daily lives of its ancient inhabitants. The variety and sophistication of the tools suggest a community well adapted to their environment, capable of hunting, gathering, and processing food with remarkable efficiency. The presence of ornamental items, meanwhile, indicates a complex social structure with aesthetic values and possibly spiritual beliefs. The layout of the site, with distinct areas for different activities such as toolmaking, cooking, and living spaces, reveals an organized society with an understanding of functional zoning. This level of organization speaks to a well-established community, rather than a transient band of hunter-gatherers. La Belle Shipwreck Echoes of French colonial ambitions. In the murky waters of Matagorda Bay lies a relic of French colonial ambition, the La Belle shipwreck. In 1686, La Belle, part of an expedition led by the explorer Robert de La Salle, sank during France's ill fated attempt to establish a colony in the Gulf of Mexico. The ship's demise marked a pivotal moment in the colonial history of Texas and offered a tangible link to the past when it was discovered in 1995. La Belle was not merely a ship. It was a symbol of France's desire to expand its territories and counter Spanish influence in the New World. La Salle's mission was to find the mouth of the Mississippi River from the Gulf of Mexico and establish a foothold for France. However, 
Navigational errors led them to the Texas coast, far from their intended destination. The sinking of LaBelle, laden with supplies and materials crucial for the establishment of a colony, was a devastating blow to La Salle's ambitions and ultimately led to the failure of the French endeavor in Texas. The discovery of La Belle's wreck centuries later opened a new chapter in understanding French colonial efforts in the Americas. The ship's remains, preserved in the mud of Matagorda Bay, held a wealth of artifacts, from cannons and muskets to personal items that shed light on the lives of those aboard. Each artifact provides a story, a snapshot of 17th century life and the challenges faced by colonial expeditions. The LaBelle shipwreck is a poignant reminder of the complexities of colonial American history. It speaks to the dreams and disasters of early European endeavors in the New World, highlighting the challenges of exploration, colonization, and the clash of empires. For Texas, the shipwreck is not just a French story, but a chapter in its diverse historical narrative, illustrating the global dimensions of its past. Alabate's Flint Quarries, the Prehistoric Texan Industry In the rugged landscape of the Texas Panhandle lies a testament to prehistoric enterprise, the Alabate's Flint Quarries. For over 13,000 years, these quarries have been a source of high-quality flint, a vital resource for the ancient inhabitants of Texas. The Alabate's Flint, renowned for its durability and workability, played a crucial role in the development of tool and weapon making, marking the dawn of a prehistoric industry in Texas. The significance of the Alabate's flint quarries extends beyond their longevity. The flint obtained from these quarries was not just a resource, it was the backbone of survival. It enabled the crafting of knives, spear points, and scrapers, tools essential for hunting, skinning, and processing game, as well as for crafting and woodworking. The quality of Alabate's flint with its variety of colors and superior edge retention, made it highly sought after, turning the quarries into a bustling center of trade and exchange among various prehistoric cultures. Evidence suggests that the Alibate's flint quarries were more than just a local resource. Artifacts made from Alibate's flint have been found across North America, indicating a wide-reaching trade network. These trade routes facilitated not only the exchange of goods, but also ideas, cultures, and technologies linking distant communities and fostering a shared prehistoric heritage. Today, the Alabate's flint quarries are recognized as a national monument, preserving this ancient site of industry and innovation. They stand as a testament to the ingenuity and resourcefulness of Texas's earliest inhabitants, who harnessed the natural resources of their environment to forge tools, weapons, and a way of life that would endure for thousands of years. Caddo Mounds, Testimonies of a Forgotten Civilization. In the lush landscapes of East Texas, the Caddo Mounds rise gently from the earth, monumental remnants of a once thriving civilization. Built by the Caddoan peoples over a thousand years ago, these earthworks are more than just architectural feats. They are sacred testimonials to the complex society that created them. The Cadoans were a sophisticated and organized society, known for their elaborate ceremonial centers, advanced agricultural practices, and intricate trade networks that extended far beyond their heartland. The mounds served as the centerpiece of their communities, hosting ceremonies, rituals, and gatherings that strengthened the social and spiritual fabric of Cadoan life. The construction of the mounds was a monumental effort, requiring the movement of thousands of tons of earth without the aid of modern tools or technology. These structures were carefully engineered, with each mound serving a specific purpose, whether as a temple, a burial site, or a platform for the homes of the elite. The largest of these, the Great Mound, stands as a testament to the Cadoans. Architectural prowess and their deep connection to the land the Caddo Mounds were not isolated marvels, but nodes in a vast network of trade and communication that linked the Caddoans with other indigenous cultures across the continent. Artifacts found at the sites, ranging from pottery and tools to ornamental objects, reflect a rich tapestry of exchange, showcasing materials and techniques from distant lands. 
This connectivity underscores the Caddoans' role as a cultural and economic hub in prehistoric North America. Archaeological excavations at the Caddo Mounds have unearthed a wealth of artifacts, offering insights into the daily lives, religious beliefs, and social structures of the Caddoan peoples. These findings reveal a civilization deeply attuned to the natural world, with a cosmology that infused their architecture, art, and societal organization. Today, the Caddo Mounds stand as silent witnesses to a vanished world. Efforts to preserve and study these sites are not just about safeguarding ruins. They are about honoring the legacy of the Caddoans and ensuring that the stories of this remarkable civilization are not lost to the sands of time. As we delve deeper into their history, we uncover the enduring spirit of a people whose contributions to human culture and knowledge continue to resonate through the ages. The Missions of San Antonio, a Spanish legacy. In the heart of Texas, the San Antonio missions stand as enduring symbols of Spanish colonial ambitions and the complex interplay of cultures that shaped the region. Established in the 18th century, these missions were more than religious outposts. They were centers of community, agriculture, and education, designed to consolidate Spanish presence in the New World and convert the indigenous population to Christianity. The most famous of these missions, the Alamo, originally known as Mission San Antonio de Padua, has become synonymous with Texan independence due to the legendary battle fought there in 1836. Yet the story of the Alamo and its sister missions, San Jose, San Juan, Espada, and Concepcion, begins much earlier. These missions formed a chain of spiritual fortresses, each a bustling community where Spanish friars, indigenous converts, and settlers lived and worked together. At their peak, the missions were self-sufficient communities, with vast lands for grazing, farming, and the cultivation of crops like corn, beans, and cotton. The indigenous people, taught by the friars, became skilled in European farming techniques, craftsmanship, and construction, building the impressive stone structures that still stand today. These missions were not just places of worship, but were vital to the survival and success of their inhabitants, offering protection and a way of life that blended Spanish and indigenous traditions. The San Antonio missions are recognized today as UNESCO World Heritage Sites, a testament to their historical and cultural significance. They offer a window into the Spanish colonial era, showcasing the architectural and agricultural innovations of the time. More importantly, they tell the story of the people who lived, worked, and worshipped within their walls, contributing to the rich tapestry of Texas's heritage. San Felipe de Austin, birthplace of Texan independence. San Felipe de Austin holds a pivotal place in Texan history as the birthplace of Texan independence. Founded in 1823 by Stephen F. Austin, the father of Texas, this settlement was the administrative heart of the Anglo-American colonization of Texas under a contract with the Mexican government. San Felipe de Austin was more than a settlement. It was a cradle of Texan identity where the seeds of independence were sown. Situated on the banks of the Brazos River, San Felipe de Austin became the nucleus of Austin's colony, the first and most successful of the Empresario Grants. It attracted settlers from the United States with the promise of land and opportunity. These early Texans, or Texians, as they were known, faced the challenges of frontier life with resilience, establishing a thriving community with a complex social, economic, and political life. San Felipe de Austin was not just a hub of settlement, but also a center of political activity and dissent against Mexican rule. The town played a crucial role in the events leading up to the Texas Revolution, hosting conventions and meetings where settlers voiced their grievances and aspirations for self-governance. It was here that the Texians organized their resistance, culminating in the Declaration of Texas Independence in 1836. The modern site of San Felipe de Austin is a testament to the enduring spirit of those early settlers. Preserved as a historic site, it offers visitors a glimpse into the lives of the Texians who fought for their independence. Artifacts, exhibits, and the remains of the original town layout tell the story of this pivotal period in Texas history. Palo Duro Canyon, 
a time capsule of human presence. Palo Duro Canyon, often referred to as the Grand Canyon of Texas, is not only a natural wonder, but also a historical treasure trove, revealing layers of human history that stretch back over 12,000 years. The second largest canyon in the United States, its majestic beauty conceals evidence of ancient human habitation, offering a unique glimpse into the lives of those who once called it home. Archaeological excavations within the canyon have unearthed a wealth of artifacts from Clovis points associated with the earliest North Americans to the remnants of Apache and Comanche camps. These findings indicate that Palo Duro Canyon was a vital refuge and resource for hunting and gathering for countless generations. The canyon's natural resources, including its flora and fauna, provided not just sustenance, but also materials for tool-making, shelter, and clothing. The diverse archaeological record reflects the canyon's role as a crossroads of cultures. Nomadic tribes such as the Apache and later the Comanche made use of the canyon's resources, as evidenced by the tipi rings and fire pits that dot the landscape. The presence of petroglyphs and pictographs adds a rich spiritual dimension to our understanding of these peoples, offering clues to their beliefs, traditions, and connections to the land. Today, Palo Duro Canyon State Park preserves this remarkable heritage. Trails and tours enable visitors to explore the canyon's history, making the ancient past accessible and providing an educational journey through time. The ongoing study and preservation of these archaeological sites ensure that the canyon remains a living museum, connecting modern Texans and visitors with the deep human history etched into its walls. Fort St. Louis and Mortuary Cave, Early Settlements and Rituals. The history of Texas is marked by stories of survival, colonization, and the blending of cultures. Two such stories emerge from the remnants of Fort St. Louis and the Mortuary Cave, each offering insights into the complexity of early Texan life through the lens of European settlement and indigenous burial practices. Established by the French explorer La Salle in 1685, Fort St. Louis was France's bold attempt to claim territory in the Spanish-dominated region. Located near present-day Victoria, Texas, the fort was part of La Salle's grand vision for a French empire in the New World. However, isolation, hostile relations with native tribes, and disease led to the colony's eventual failure. The archaeological discovery of Fort St. Louis's site in the 1990s provided valuable insights into this ill-fated venture. Artifacts unearthed, including musket balls, pottery, and trade goods, tell a story of struggle, interaction with indigenous peoples, and the daily life of the colony's inhabitants. This site serves as a reminder of France's fleeting presence in Texas and its impact on the region's colonial history. In contrast to the colonial ambitions that led to the establishment of Fort St. Louis, the Mortuary Cave in the Lower Pecos region offers a window into the sacred and ceremonial aspects of indigenous Texan cultures. Used over several thousand years as a burial site, the cave contains human remains along with a variety of grave goods, including tools, ornaments, and offerings. The Mortuary Cave's use highlights the spiritual beliefs and practices of the region's ancient inhabitants. The care taken in the preparation of the dead, along with the offerings found within the cave, speak to a complex belief system and a deep reverence for the deceased. These burial practices provide a poignant insight into the social and spiritual lives of the people who once thrived in what is now Texas. Together, Fort St. Louis and the Mortuary Cave encapsulate the diversity of Texas's historical landscape. From the ambitions of European colonizers to the sacred rituals of its indigenous peoples, these sites tell a multifaceted story of survival, spirituality, and the quest for territory. The preservation and study of these sites allow us to appreciate the layers of history that have shaped Texas, offering lessons and legacies that continue to resonate. Rock Art of the Lower Pecos, a canvas of ancient narratives. The Lower Pecos region of Texas, a rugged landscape carved by time and the Rio Grande holds one of North America's most remarkable prehistoric treasures, an extensive gallery of rock art. These ancient murals, painted or pecked into the limestone cliffs and shelter walls, 
are more than mere decorations. They are a profound narrative canvas, weaving tales of the people who lived here over 4,000 years ago. The rock art of the Lower Pecos is a vivid testament to the rich spiritual and daily life of its creators. The images depict a wide range of subjects, from human figures and animals to intricate abstract designs and celestial phenomena. These artworks are believed to represent shamanistic visions, hunting scenes, and important rituals or ceremonies, offering unparalleled insights into the beliefs and practices of these ancient communities. The creators of the Lower Pecos rock art used a variety of techniques to produce their works, including painting with mineral pigments and etching directly into the rock surface. The complexity and sophistication of these techniques underscore the importance of these artworks to their creators, serving as a means of expression, communication, and connection with the spiritual world. Today, the rock art of the Lower Pecos is recognized as a cultural treasure of immense significance. Efforts to document, study, and preserve these artworks are ongoing, as exposure to the elements and human activity pose threats to their survival. Each piece of rock art is a fragile link to the past, offering a glimpse into the minds and hearts of the ancient peoples of Texas. The USS Westfield and the Bison Drive site. War and Survival. The stories of the USS Westfield and the Bison Drive site encapsulate the themes of conflict and survival, pivotal elements in Texas's rich tapestry of history. While separated by centuries, both sites provide a window into the challenges faced by those who lived and fought on Texas soil. The USS Westfield, a Union gunboat, played a crucial role in the blockade of the Confederate coast during the American Civil War. In 1863, while engaged in operations in Galveston Bay, the Westfield ran aground and was destroyed to prevent capture by Confederate forces. The subsequent excavation of the Westfield's wreckage has unveiled not just artifacts of naval warfare, but also poignant reminders of the human aspect of war, from personal belongings of the crew to the armaments they used in battle. The Westfield serves as a somber reflection on the maritime strategies that shaped the Civil War's Gulf Coast campaign. Contrasting the technological warfare represented by the Westfield, the Bison Drive site near Lubbock showcases the ingenuity of prehistoric Texans in their struggle for survival. This ancient hunting ground contains evidence of a sophisticated method used by Native Americans to hunt bison. By strategically driving these massive animals into cul-de-sacs or off cliffs, the hunters could efficiently harvest the resources needed for their communities. The site offers insights into the complex social organization, deep environmental knowledge, and survival strategies of Texas's early inhabitants. Both the USS Westfield and the Bison Drive site stand as testaments to the enduring human spirit in the face of conflict and the necessity of survival. Whether through the strategic naval engagements of the Civil War or the communal hunts of ancient times, these sites highlight the adaptability, resilience, and ingenuity of those who called Texas home. Through the preservation and study of these historical landscapes, we honor the memory of their struggles and triumphs, ensuring that the lessons of the past remain alive for future generations. Friedrich Archaeological Site and 41 WEH24 traces of early inhabitants. In the tapestry of Texas's archaeological record, the Friedrich Archaeological Site and 41 WH24 stand out as remarkable windows into the lives of early inhabitants, revealing the diversity and complexity of prehistoric Texas. These sites, each with its unique story, contribute significantly to our understanding of the early human presence and activities in the region. Located in central Texas, the Friedrich Archaeological Site offers insights into a community that thrived over 10,000 years ago. This site has unveiled a wealth of artifacts, including tools, weapons, and the remnants of ancient campfires, painting a vivid picture of the daily life of its inhabitants. The variety of stone tools found such as projectile points, scrapers, and blades suggests a sophisticated understanding of toolmaking that enabled these early Texans to hunt, prepare food, and perform tasks essential for survival. One of the most intriguing aspects of the Friedrich site is the evidence of long-term habitation, 
indicating that early peoples in Texas were not merely nomadic hunters and gatherers, but were capable of establishing semi-permanent settlements. This shift towards more settled communities marks a significant point in human history, reflecting changes in social structures, resource management, and environmental adaptation.